Hi and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about Fluent Validation and how you can use it in your ASP.NET Core projects. You can use data annotations inside .NET to create validations for your models. I have a book model here and I'm doing validation using required range and these are coming from data annotations. The good thing about this data annotation is they are fully supported by ace.net core and you can use model state is valid to check the validity of your models. Also, on the browser side, on the client side, uh, you have jQuery validate and jQuery validate obtrusive libraries which uh, can check the validity of your models before sending them to server and that can reduce a lot of uh, unvalid data and a lot of, a lot of uh, connections and requests from your server and that is always a good thing so here i am entering data to my form i save this and i have validation errors uh, at this moment we are using javascript to make sure the validity of data and it is happening here we have some data dash attributes inside the input and you can see the minimum and maximum values and the message that jQuery should show when something goes wrong like if I enter 2000 here and save uh, you can see the field must be between this year and this year and that is all happening inside your browser without data being sent to server okay this time I removed all data annotations from my book model and instead I am using abstract validator from fluent validation and I express some rules here and these are the same rules but uh, in a fluent way and uh, it is more readable and more understandable also you can configure it better with every validation check you can add a message and that makes it easier to understand what is happening and what's going to be shown to the user okay to use fluent validation in your ASP.NET Core projects you need two packages this one is the main fluent validation and this one is used to add the service extensions and so when you add this package to your project in a startup you can use add fluent validation just like this and after this line of code everything falls in the right place and a fluent validation just works uh, also you need to uh, inject your validations using uh, something like add transient in here and uh, after these two lines of code uh, everything else just works if I go to my create page here nothing has changed in this part the fluent validation replaces the old model state mechanism and uh, just does the same thing here also you don't need to change anything in your form uh, it is fully compatible with your uh, jquery validation uh, for the most part uh, there are some rules maybe not, could not be uh, transferred into jquery validate but uh, they will be cached in your server side anyway so let's run the project again I am here and I saved the form again this time we see different messages uh, from the last time and uh, if I put some data here like this this is the message coming from fluent validation and let's check it out here I have the same message and also for this price if I enter this price 
you can see the same message I have in third year. So, when um, validation replaced the data annotations and uh, it worked the same way, but this time we have separated the concern of violation from the book model to a specific model uh, or class like this and uh, if in the future there is any change in validation mechanism there is only one place that we have to go and change things uh, so it is uh, moving towards the clean architecture and uh, making the project manager in larger projects easier Fluent validation is readable. You can just understand what is happening and what is going to be shown to the user. It is a lot easier to work with instead of just attributes that you get uh, from data annotations. And there are lots of built-in rules inside fluent validation more than you get from data annotations. And also you can create your own custom validators if you ever need to. So if you have never used Fluent Validation in your projects, I encourage you to do so. And thanks for watching and see you soon.